Welcome to Texas Tech TV. Brian Jensen with the Texas Tech Sports Network radio crew. Well, the play-by-play -play guy, I'm not quite sure where the other guys are. I guess they got lost on their way to this stadium, which is expected to be busting at the seams for this weekend's game between the Red Raiders and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Halloween weekend, and I'm telling you, the excitement around here has been crazy. This, of course, is keys to the game for what you can expect coming up this weekend. And Well, since I'm alone here, I'll, I'll get it started by telling you that I think the key is pretty obvious. Last week, Without the turnovers, I think just about everybody would say that the Red Raiders win that game against Oklahoma. I think now with Oklahoma State coming in, you've got a team that has won 30 of the last 31 games that they have won the turnover battle. That's, that's incredible. Not only that, add to the fact that they are at the top of the Big 12 in turnover margin, the Red Raiders at the bottom. If Tech can somehow avoid the turnovers, and get that turnover margin close, I think the Red Raiders win this game, and they win it in a shootout. Um, I'm going to check in, I guess, with, with my guys somewhere on campus. Guys? Thank you very much, Mr. Jensen. Chris Lovell here, sideline reporter. John Harris, color analyst. Over here at the United Spirit Arena, and uh, we're, you know, on location, I guess you'd say, but uh, big football game uh, Saturday night, and, uh, and I think uh, – this one has all the elements of being a great atmosphere. I'm not sure what other element you could possibly add into this one. You know, I, I think that's exactly right. And, and the best atmosphere I have ever been around for a Tech football game was Tech and Texas 2008. Here you've got an opportunity to get 10,000 more people into, the, into Jones AT&T Stadium. Uh, much anticipation, all of the excitement that has already been generated by a team ranked now number 15 in the country with Cliff Kingsbury. So, yeah, you think it'll just be an extremely exciting day and night for Red Raider football. You know, we, we are in charge of keys to the game. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what yours will be. I, I'm going to just keep it simple and just say Desmond Rowland. I mean, he's, the, he's their running back. Uh, you know, he, he rushed for over 200 yards last week. We saw what happened in Norman last week with this Texas Tech run defense. This is a bit of a different run game that they'll see. It's more finesse instead of power. So I think Texas Tech's defense is more apt to be able to stop this one than they were, you know, last week. But that, that, that's just the guy you got to focus on. I mean, and, and their quarterbacks have not been very good. Well, and mine is, is along similar lines. And I say for Matt Wall, he would tell us you got to get off the field, get the defense off the field, get the offense back on, which means don't let them convert third downs. And that was a problem with Oklahoma when they got their running game going and Blake Bell threw the ball effectively. Sooners were able to convert third downs, keep drives alive. The Red Raiders have been the best team in the Big 12 at, at stopping third down conversion attempts by their opponents until Oklahoma. Sooners convert seven of 14. Three of those third down conversions came on the possession that went 97 yards to tie the game early on. They also convert third downs on the drive that put them up 21 to 7 just after halftime and then the drive that put them in front to stay at 28 to 24. You can see those came on important drives for touchdowns. Don't let Oklahoma State do that. Find a way to stop the running back. Don't let the quarterbacks hurt you. Get off the field. Red Raiders have a much better opportunity to win if they can do that. And one unique stat I'll leave you with, Texas Tech is 8-0 and on the very next game after they come off of an Oklahoma loss. So when they lose to Oklahoma, they are undefeated the very next weekend. So anyway, I'm not saying, I'm just saying. So those are our keys. Back to you, Mr. Jensen. Well, thanks, Chris. I'll tell you what, I got another number for you that hopefully works in the Red Raiders' favor. No team has won three straight against the Red Raiders in this stadium since Nebraska ended its streak in the 2000 season, having won here and then didn't win here again. Guess what? Oklahoma State has won two straight here. This would be the third, and that's been a streak of now, what, over 10 years, almost 14? So let's hope that one works in the Red Raiders' favor as well. Hey, this will work in your favor. You watching the game on the television over the weekend? Great. Be sure to listen to the Texas Tech Sports Network radio crew, won't you?